like a dream. Um, you know, I, uh, Lando was my first toy ever. Like my dad bought it for me. So being a part of this, being part of Star Wars family, it means it means like the world. You know, because I, I and, and I don't I don't say that lightly. You know, I'm a fan myself, so I appreciate all the fans. I appreciate how much people care about it. And like, you know, I just wanted to, you just want to make a, a good movie and, and have fun with the people in it. So like, I, it just feels great. It's like a dream. Oh yeah, I was telling, I was like, the best part about this movie is that no one else can fit the, the suits I was wearing. There's a suit at the end of this movie that I'm like, I would wear that out. It's like kind of, it's, it's all white. I love it. But it, I would wear it out. Like it's 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 nice having all of those capes, and also you start to fall in love with capes in general. I'm like, why don't people wear capes anymore? I understand maybe it's a little hard to get your hands out, but they look so fresh. You really can't top a, a good cape. I just love the way it looks. It feels like a very edgy film, and I feel like there's enough there to satisfy like anybody who's ever wondered about Han and Lando. You know, and uh, you know, there's there's so much about Han in this movie that. You know, you start, you, you connect with that I, I, with anybody who's young and you're starting to figure it out. So I just hope that people really connect and like they're, they're interested in this world because I would love to be a part of this world again. It's really great. Yeah, the film experience with other people in a dark room is like, there's nothing like it. You know, it's, there's, it, it, there's, a, there's a surprise and a shock you're just not going to get alone, you know, on a small screen. It, 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 it's a communal experience, like it's an event. So. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a privilege. It's a privilege. It's a thrill. It makes my kids really happy. They are very proud of me and actually want to come and see it. Well, they can come and see a movie I do, um, finally. So, but, you know, what, what a privilege and what a celebration, too, to have a woman of color who's got a, you know, a, a principal role in the movie, um, in that entire Star Wars legacy. That hasn't actually happened until now. So I, I feel, you know, I feel very kind of proud for that to be a moment that I can represent so you know it's 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 very special well I think you know it, it you can really tell in the movie the energy that's right through the film is this sense of excitement and reverence for a character that is so beloved right down to the design of the costumes you know that fantastic retro edge which is so you know so akin to the character that we know of Harrison Ford and I think that really that was sort of, it, it was delivered right through the whole production. And we all had so much fun because Han is a, a, a rogue. Uh, he's, he's devil may care, he's irreverent, he takes risks. He's all the things that people want to be, but they're too scared to be. So, you know, I think that it gave everyone the sense that they could try something new and, and depart from the everyday and the normal and I, it, honestly it's right through everything in the movie. It's, it, it's so exhilarating, it's just insane, you kind of, you get these like different waves of realizing you're in a Star Wars movie. First of all they give you the job and you're like oh my god I'm in a Star Wars movie and then you get on set for the first time and you're like oh my god I'm in a Star Wars movie and then suddenly you're here and it's a press sign the song and then the Oscars and you're like I'm in a Star Wars movie. And it's like these different stages of like overwhelming <laughs> kind of intensity that kind of comes with this. And I just, um, I just really hope we've done the fans proud. I know it's just really, it's scary in one sense because it's so loved and it's so precious. And Han is a character that is so loved by me, by everyone, by the world of Star Wars. And so taking it on is scary but I know we've done it justice and when I first read the script I was just tingling with excitement because everything just makes sense and you're like yes so it's just really satisfying it's just really kind of yeah it was a it's a beautiful thing to be a part of and I'm really really very lucky to be standing here today three adjectives explosive dynamic and heartfelt Hey, hi. Look at that I'm here face. With Mr. Billy Dee Williams too. Look at her face. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's Mr. <laughs> Maker, you know. But how are you doing, sir? I'm all right. How does it feel to have a character live on this long that that they make a movie this many years after you brought the character to the screen? Well, I mean, it'll be interesting to see what Donald brings to it. He's really an extraordinary young man. Yeah. I mean, he's quite capable. I mean, and he's different. Yeah. There's something he. I watch him, and he tends to approach things in, a, in his own 
a unique way. Now, I know when you got this part, I mean, you had did God in Light and Mahogany and all these other great projects. But when you started to Star Wars, like, how different was that for you to be cast into a movie of this canon when you was an actor, at, when you was a young actor at that age? Well, it was an opportunity for me to work with uh, some extraordinary people, uh, like George Lucas, and it was a chance for me to play around with the ideas that I, I, I've been nurturing for a long time. I've been doing this for over 60 years. Yeah. So, uh, and I've always tried to bring a, a kind of a, a uniqueness to whatever character I play. So this, was, this certainly was a character that I had an opportunity to play around with. How inspired are you when you're seeing, Car when you're seeing Donald and the work that he's doing with his film like, or his uh, music video, This Is America? Say, say that again? Have you seen This Is America by uh, Donald Glover? Oh, I saw it the other day. What, I, what in fact, I texted about? him. <laughs> what would you tell him? Oh, I just thought I, I thought it was one of the most extraordinary things I'd ever seen. When it comes this to the artist. He, he's very special. Um, no. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thanks.